The Ministry of Energy and Mineral Development has signed a contract with INVAP SE of Argentina to undertake site evaluation, technical studies and develop designs for the Center of Nuclear Science and Technology in Soroti City. Argentina has well developed nuclear industry and has a long history of exporting nuclear technology globally and specifically in Africa. Meaning that we are dealing with a company that is backstopped by a solid uh, country experience. So we will learn from the Argentinian experience. But also we were informed that INVAP has exported research reactors across Africa in Algeria and Egypt. So we are probably on the journey of adding Uganda to this long list. So we are confident that we are dealing with a solid partner and that this program will progress. Every project is also a learning for us, and we are sure that we will learn a lot of working together with the team here, and uh, as you say, not only on delivering these facilities, but also on working together towards what you envisage as your future. The development excited Professor Ikoja Odong, the Vice Chancellor of Soroti University, who attended the momentous occasion at the Ministry of Energy headquarters in Kampala. And I think when it comes to discussing the, the layout and the requirement, they will be handy. Because for us, we have space, we have the air, but we want the thing which is really attending to the issues of this country. You have mentioned the issue about power production, radioisotopes, the research and learning and so on. These are the same things we are looking for. So we want our brothers to be knowing that we will have those things in that reactor. How it will be governed, that's another case. We shall do it later on. But the important thing is that it is treated in sorority. The contract signing ceremony comes at a critical time when Uganda is fast tracking the preparatory activities for establishing the Center for Nuclear Science and Technology, which will host the nuclear research reactor for education, training, production of radio isotopes, and research in nuclear industry. Dennis Igoa and Maria Namkose for UBC News. So the ceremony is done. <laughs>